guys, today I'm going to show you how to make one of these little Christmas um, bonbons that you guys have seen on my Facebook page. Um, I found the original idea off of Facebook um, through a through a group, um, and obviously I she shared the YouTube link, but I decided I'd make my own. Um, I guess for the extension of the YouTube video though that she didn't show is I also made a smaller one so that we had two bonbons um, from the one um, 12 by 12 size piece of paper because I hate wasting paper. So for the bigger bonbon, it's six and a half by eight inches and the smaller bonbon is five and a half by eight inches. So obviously you've got a four inch scrap left over. All right, so to start with, we're gonna start with our big one today. I'm using the Christmas Carols collection by Kaiser Craft today. Um, this paper's called Jingle Bells. I'm just going to put that one aside. I'm going to start off with this one. Um, you'll need a We Are Memory Keepers punch envelope punch board, or you, there's one from Stamp It Up as well. And you'll also need a scoreboard or a um, trimmer that's got a scoring tool on it. So first the thing we're going to do is we're going to get our scoreboard out. We're going to line our six and a half inch piece of paper up on the side and we're going to score at one and a half inches, three inches, four and a half inches and six inches. Okay, I'm going to put this aside because we will need this again later and I'm going to score and fold my lines across and really flatten them with my bone folder. So I've got a nice crisp line happening. do is grab our um, punch board and we're going to start from the the narrowest at crease the narrowest end and we're going to fold that piece of cardstock over okay so you've got two layers you'll be punching through two layers we then measure um, on our board up to two inches so we put the piece of paper up to two inches and we punch it down okay so that leaves a mark in there like that next one we're going to do is fold it over again so you've got two layers of cardstock and two inches. And again, fold two inches, fold two inches. And you also you've got to do the end as well. So fold the end up and punch for two inches. Then we swap it over, doesn't matter really which way you go. So swap it over and do the same on the other side. So fold and two inches all the way along. And don't forget the end. There we go. Okay, so have a piece of paper that looks like that now. I'm going to grab our scoreboard back again and we're going to be working now on the eight and a half inch side so we're going to measure that up and we're going to measure one and a half inches. Now you're going to be really careful this time not to actually tear the piece of paper but the one and a half inch will go right along the ends of those diamond shapes. Next one is two inches. That'll go right through the middle of the diamond shapes. And then two and a half inches will go on the edge of the other one. All right, I'm gonna turn him around and do the same again on the other side. So one and a half.
two. And two and a half. I'm hoping you can see this. All right, so once that's done, you can put it aside. Let's get rid of our scraps. Okay, so we're going to then get our fold out and we're going to our um, piece of paper and we're going to fold it so what we're going to do is we're going to have the the side that we want to use laying flat on the board and you get first one first crease fold along the um, eight and a half inch side that we've just um, scored we're going to fold in then the next one which is in the middle here, I'm going to fold out like that and then we're going to fold the other one in okay so it's like a, it's a mountain fold I'll just put the bone through it and then I'll just show you so you see, so out, in and out so it makes an M shape do the same on the other side so the side we want showing down, fold in, fold out, and then fold back in again to form that M shape. And don't fold it. It's a nice crisp line. Okay. Now, next thing we're going to do. Is we're going to get some tape. Right, I'm using just the Express It um, six milli six millimeter tape. You can also use the red tape. That's really good. That's obviously stronger or a strong hold tape. I find this has been enough to hold my project together. So I'm going to run that along the shortest line on the correct side of the paper. So a piece there, a piece there. And a piece there. Once I've done that, I'll just take my tape off. And then this is the careful bit. We've actually got to line our creases up. So just carefully grabbing the end and just trying to line one line up. With the other one take your time when you're doing this because obviously if you've got a pattern that needs to be joined together we want it to be very perfect especially stripes that you'll see these stripes are so cute I love them okay and then join the bottom bit up probably the easiest way like so And then your middle will just automatically should automatically just fold in. Oops. Oops, we're not quite lined up. Okay, there we go. And that's your bonbon all finished so you can squish it in there we go and flatten it all out a bit so that it's all stuck together and then you pull it out and then obviously by my decorated example you can decorate it with some ribbon and a little tag on the end and then you can leave one side closed and then the other side you can obviously open up and fill it with treats you can obviously open it all the way up and you can fill it with treats up in the middle there's quite a few treats that you can fix into that so that's your big one your small one is the same process except obviously we're using excuse my arm um, we're using a eight inch by five and a half inch and we're going to score on the five and a half inch side we're going to score at one and a quarter 
two and a half, three and three quarters, and a five. Okay, so that leaves again that little bit on the side for you to actually stick onto to make the smaller one. The same process as we did, so you follow through with all the two inches and all of that dimensions are the same. When we get to the, the long bit, it's still your um, one and a half, two and two and a half because your um, diamonds or your yes, diamonds will be in the same spot, so that's all good. Um, so nothing else changes, it's just those original dimensions that I mentioned, which was one and a quarter, two and a half, three and three quarters, and five inches. So that's all for me today. It shows you how to make your bonbon. I'd love to see some of your bonbons. If you're on Facebook and follow me on Facebook, please post your bonbons to my page. Um, that'd be great. If you're looking for um, any of the Christmas Carol collection for this year, if you like the papers, I've got six and a half inches in stock in my on my website, um, which is www.kerryscraftycardsandcuts.com.au. Um, if you're looking for the 12 inches, I can also supply them, but they're not on my website at the moment, so you just send me a message through my website or on Facebook. And I hope to be back in the next couple of days to share some other projects. Um, I've been working on some projects using the We Are Memory Keepers um, scoreboard. I've really gotten, gotten into it, and I've got it out, and I've done a few um, searches and things. One of them is this cute little mini album, which I started last night. I haven't yet finished it. Um, this is made by four envelopes, joining them all together to make a little mini album, which gives you, once it's finished, will give you little pockets in the inside, and is like really quite cute. So I'm going to come back, once I've finished this example, I'm going to come back in a few days' time, and I might do a tutorial on that. I've also got a tutorial... Um, lined up to show you some tags that you can make. Um, I'll be using the scraps that we did um, have used today from the paper, some scraps of that one to make some cute little mini gift tags plus a gift tag box using the um, the scoreboard, an envelope scoreboard again. And I've also found another one that I might do or show you guys of some little cute little boxes that you can um, use with them too. So it's just not for envelopes, it's from lots of different projects that you can use. So until next time, have fun creating!